Good morning, Mount Olive youth and young adults. This is Minister McCall. Today is Sunday, May 1st. I pray all is going well. We want to pause this morning and talk to you from this thought, Lemonade. This thought comes from the book of Philippians. The Good News Translation says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I have the strength to face all conditions by the power that Christ gives me. One of my favorite television shows is called This Is Us. The episode that drives our devotional today is the episode where Dr. Katowski comes out to give Jack the sad news that one of his triplet babies is stillborn. Jack is stunned, disappointed, saddened, and is trying to process what has just happened. Dr. Katowski tells Jack that he and his late wife lost a child when they were first married. And he begins to encourage encourage Jack by saying, if you can take the sourest lemon that life hands you and make something out of it that resembles lemonade, then maybe one day you can provide another man hope. Dr. Kotowski was referencing that age old saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Lemons, young people, are the disappointments, the struggles, the hardships, the breakups, the losses, the hurt that we experience in life. It is the pressure to fit in, the pressure to be liked, the pressure to date, the pressure to be perfect, the pressure to excel in academics and athletics. Lemons, disappointments, is that sinking feeling you get in the pit of your stomach an overwhelming sense of sadness in your heart when something or someone crushes your hopes, ruins your day, lets you down, or things simply just don't go your way. Young people, sooner or later, life will give you lemons. Right now is an important time in your life to learn how to handle lemons, how to handle disappointments, learn how to make lemonade out of lemons. Making lemonade out of lemons, life's disappointments, is easier to say, but much harder to do. Young people, make it a habit now to not allow the lemons in your life, the disappointments in your life, the pressure in your life to become an excuse for your inability to experience this amazing thing called life. Dr. Seuss once said, when something bad happens, you have three choices. You can either let it define you, let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. Though it hurts when things don't work out our way, though personal struggles and challenges in our younger years are real, though some seasons, some sadness, some situations, some stuff we face are harder than others, it's encouraging to know that you're not stuck out there in life all by yourself. Jack had Dr. Katowski. And you've got a savior, Jesus, who has been through it already and is ready to walk side by side with you through whatever difficulty, disappointment you face. Knowing that you have the strength through Christ to face all conditions, face all of life's problems, face all of life's ups and downs, all of life's twists and turns makes the difference. If you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you too can make lemonade out of lemons. Make something sweet, something refreshing, something profitable, not just for yourself, but for others to taste and see for themselves how good the Lord is and just how strong both you and they really are. Let us go to God in prayer. Lord, you know us better than anyone else knows us, better than we know ourselves. Don't let our disappointments break us, but Lord, use it to build us today. Whatever the lemon, whatever the problem, whatever the pressure that we're experiencing, help us to recognize and acknowledge our feelings of disappointment, but help us, Lord, to deal with it in a healthy way. Thank you for those you've placed in our lives to encourage and help us find the strength to express and deal with with our emotions. Though it's not an easy process to make lemonade out of life's lemons, continue to remind us that no matter what we've gone through, 
what we go through or what we will go through, we have the strength to face all conditions by the power that Christ gives us. In Jesus' name, we pray this prayer. Let us all say amen. Have a blessed week, young people. Look forward to talking to you next Sunday.